Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Simu K. Welcome to Shipyard Simulator. This game was sent over to me today by Powell, and I'm not the first person to play it or anything like that, but uh, they were like, oh, the game comes out in a couple of days. Here, have a look at it. It's like other people have already had a look at this. This is not new. I can't dedicate my time to it. And they got all bent out of shape because I said, look, you're going to have to wait until I've got all my other reviews done before I can come and review this. And they thought I was offended, and I said, no, I'm not offended. I'm just telling you that I can't get on it right now. So don't be offended when I don't cover your game because I've got other things to do. So then they got offended, and they all, they all just bent out of shape. So I said, look, I didn't mean to offend you. I apologize if I offended you. I'll take a quick look at it now. I'll take a quick look right now, and uh, literally will be a quick look. So. 4K, 60 FPS, brightness is good. This is a game, by the way, that I'm very, very keen. Let's get my boat race on this. This is a game, by the way, that I'm very, very keen to have a look at. Uh, I just have so much to do at the moment. I can't just drop everything for a game that has already been sent out to loads of other YouTubers before me. It's not a priority because it's not unique access. That's all it is. That's the way it works on YouTube, sadly enough. If you're not the first person to upload it, you don't have an angle. Audio. Yes, looks good. Controls, WSAD, spacebar to jump. Uh, left control is crouch. Sprint with shift. Primary action is that. Secondary action is that. E, R, uh, inventory is tab. Skill tree is U. Tools is Q. Flashlight is F. Headlights are F. Camera for the car. There's a car? That's surprising. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, right. Let's go. Play. Uh, new game, Sim Graveyard Simulator. This is a game I've been, I've been trying. Um, I downloaded the prologue weeks ago, weeks ago, and I've been trying to play the prologue to see what the game was like, and I just haven't had time. This is how busy I am, right? So this is my first look. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what it's going to be, but it's a game I thought, oh my God, that could be really interesting. And this is, I mean, this is great. This is exactly what graveyard simulators, um, ship graveyards look like. They literally crash the boat into shore and then strip them to bits. And this, this is how it works. So, so far, impressed. Okay, right. Ships are your main playground. There's plenty to destroy in them and they can hide many secrets. Secrets, huh? Explore. Carefully check abandoned ships. You can find many materials on them. Jet deck, living quarters, engine room. There are many places to explore. Drive your car to travel faster. Dismantle whatever you can. There are simple barrels or pipes as well as massive engines to find and scrap. There is a big variety of materials from common steel and copper to very precious silver and gold. Choose wisely because you have limited inventory space. Ah, interesting. Okay. Right, take the car. Where's the car? Where is the car? So are we like uh, an independent? We're not sort of... Um, we don't own the company. We don't... It's just like there's a bunch of cars... Uh, there's a bunch of ships crashed here and we just go and help ourselves to whatever. Is that what this is? I don't know. I can't get out here. Why? It's in the way, I guess. Right. Dismantle. My character's just gone off walking on his own. Okay. Dismantle. Happy destroying critical points. If you hit correctly, you can speed up your destruction process. Aim at the glowing sparks to deal more damage. Improve. Get more experience in hammer mastery by spending points on your skill tree. Okay. So let me just run back to my car. Find and destroy metal scrap. Right. So this here is a bit of metal scrap, right? Rusted steel times two and one copper. So if I come up here to my hammer, tier one, that, try and hit on the on the on the blah, 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 on the shiny bits to destroy it quicker. There you go, it cracked straight away. Critical hit. Okay, so you pick them up like that. That's pretty cool. Right. Sell materials in the market. Okay. Well, already, already I can say I'm impressed. I'm not surprised I'm impressed with this game. I like... That's my home. How do I sell on the market? Ah. Uh, tutorial. Sell. Welcome, hammer, saw, torch. 
mop, lock pick, what the hell? Explosives, zip line, tool shop, workshop. Uh, I think this is going to be an incredible game. I wish I could really give it a proper, proper look, but I haven't got time. Um, I really need to sell quickly. Can I sell with this guy? Let's try this. Hello, marketplace trader. Here you can sell carefully collected materials. A trader might not, might not be the most handsome man alive, but he offers good prices. That's a weird thing to say. Market rules. Material prices will change every day, depending on what you are trading with. Okay, that's cool. So, best to... Um, sell in bulk than little bits at a time. So that's going to get me $32. Boom. Okay, good. Oh, buy a hacksaw in the tool shop. Here's the tool shop. Ah, hello, Mr. Tool Shop Man. Buy new tools. Here you can buy new stuff, which definitely can help you in ship destruction. Upgrade. You can convince tradesmen to order new stuff you'd buy in his tool shop. Of course, not for free. Okay, so X to inspect. That looks all right. 50 bucks though. And I've only got 32. Okay, so I can't buy the hacksaw just yet, but if I go in. Hack up some more ship. Then I should be able to pretty quick. Oh, hang on. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Look, I don't even need to hack it up. I can just buy stuff that other people have left behind, I guess. It's a bit of a lucky find, wasn't it? I don't know, actually. I don't know if it is a lucky find. Maybe this kind of thing happens all over the place. Got some over here as well. This is the way to start. Cast iron, blah, 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 blah. Stuff, stuff, stuff. This is so much easier than cutting it up and uh, doing the work. But some over here as well. I'm not sure if it's meant to be like this. I'm not sure if this is maybe a bug or whether it's intentional at this point in time, but I don't care. I really don't care. I'll pick it all up. I want to get out there on a ship that's in the sea. That's what I want to do. I sell this stuff, grab the hacksaw, and then see if we can push on. How long have I been on this game? Eight minutes. Uh, see, I'm already running out of time. Already running out of time, which is a shame, because this is looking very awesome. But it's going to have to wait. It's going to have to wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. And there's only one of me. Marketplace. Can I just double click? Right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. Perfect. Sell. 285, that got me. That's shed loads. Can I have a lockpick for 270? I can, but I can't really afford that right now. So let's just buy the hacksaw. Cut beams and pipes, but watch out for very sharp for the very sharp blade. Okay. Sharpness. Cutting objects will lower the efficiency of your saw and reduce damage. Remember to buy a new blade at the hardware shop whenever necessary. Improve. Get more experience in cutting by investing points in your skill tree. Okay. So I own that. Have I got 270? I need $3. Hang on. Here we go. Maybe these are just here to make it easier for the uh, for when you're first starting out. Maybe maybe that's why it's there. Maybe they're like, you know, whilst you haven't got any tools, here's some really cool stuff. Right, get rid of that and that. Thirty four bucks. Talk to the main man. Buy ourselves a lockpick. Use the lockpick to open closed chests and doors different chests have different lock difficulty levels if you ever find short of lock picks buy more in the tool shop so i'm guessing 
they're not um, they're not going to last forever. There will come a point where the lockpick will break, and then I need to buy a new one. All right, let's go and have a look because I really haven't got much time left. Ten minutes already. I mean, I'm super impressed with the uh, with the layout and the the sort of beginnings of the game. Oh, damn it! You can't pick up. With the mouse button, you have to use the E button. Oh, more over here. Ah, I've got to spend a point on my skill tree. Okay, how do I open the skill tree again? I've forgotten already. Q, no. E, no. Uh, tab. Skills. Hammer. Super hit. Hang on. So I've got two skill points. Spend skill points to improve your stats and unlock special skills. Hammer. How do I how do I spend it? Oh right. Hammer speed. Hammer damage. So speed. Plus two car slot. Oh. Oh, okay, hang on. Okay. So I can put stuff in the trunk of my car. Oh, that's brilliant. And then I can rock up and start selling it that way. So the uh, the barrels of for me to put the oil in, the uh, the water bottle, I don't know what that's for, and the trunk is... Okay, that's cool. Okay. I've learned something new there. Brilliant. Well, let's go... Let's go find something interesting to destroy... And then we'll come back. There's all this free stuff everywhere, look. Then we'll come back and sell it all and see how much we get. And we'll call that the episode. This is bloody awesome. I wish I had time to play it, but it's it's not a priority for me right now. I don't have time to do it. I have to prioritise other things. Just the way the cookie crumbles. In future, I won't bother telling people. <laughs> Because they got right proper bent out of shape about it. Maybe they just misinterpreted my email, I don't know. But they got right proper bent out of shape about it. Maybe it would be better if I just didn't say anything and didn't cover the game at all. And then they wouldn't get upset about it. Ooh, look what I found. Unlock. It's a beginner's unlock. Oh, I nearly got it on the first go. We got some alcohols. Fantastic. Let's stick all this stuff in the boot. And yeah, I want to go down to the beach. I want to go down to the water. You can see how the water has got, uh, sorry, the sand has got sort of wet. And it's not quite so dry as it was before. I wonder if there's a possibility or a chance that you could get stuck in the sand. That would be kind of cool. Is that a crate? No. Okay. I've, I've decided which ship I'm going to go and attack. Uh, oh, no, I can't get to it. Oh, no, I wanted to attack that one. Maybe I can swim out there. Let's have a look. Right, let's have a look, see. No! You can't get out to the ones in the water. Well, not, let, not yet, anyway. Maybe I can buy a boat at some point and start doing stuff that way all right change of plan then let's go go find something on land that looks pretty cool
because it's saying you know there are rooms you can get into there are different areas of the ship that you can get into so i'd love to do that i'd love to get involved in a ship that's like you know nearly a whole ship see this looks perfect this looks perfect for me let's get out Can I talk to this guy? A worker. A worker. Or I can hire workers. £100 a day. Build a barracks first to hire a worker. Ah! Ah! Frustrating this game is going to be so good. Ah, I really want to get into it. Ah, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I haven't got time to do it now. It'll have to wait. Rusted steel. Alright. Let's give this a thwack. nice that's how you do it that is how you do it that is how you do it some more stuff so hang on can i actually get on board or not is that actually not something you can do you hope you can seems like every potential route to get in on the ship is blocked or locked is this like the edge of the map I'm getting a, a distinct feeling that this is the edge of the map and I can't go any further. Because I can't destroy any of that stuff. Okay. It's a shame, it's a shame, but, you know, it's early in the game. I mean, I'm literally 10, 10 minutes past the tutorial. It could very well end up being a case that, you know, oh, it's actually getting dark as well. There's a light and dark, a night and day cycle. I'm trying to rush. I can't rush and speak at the same time, apparently. Order a ship. Order a ship. Why didn't I see that earlier? It's because I'm rushing. Right, let's go order a ship. Damn it. Will the ship take me out? Out off the off the shore? Um, now, see, now I'm very excited. Is there a way that I can sell everything in my boot without having to take it out? I don't think there is, is there? I'm just going to have to grab as much as I can. Wow, I could actually hold all of that. Sell the lot. Boom, 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 boom. Sell. Kraken. Where do I order the ship from? From inside. Use the computer. Small, one dollar a day. Book it. Booking complete. Your ship will be delivered at 8 a.m. You will find it on the beach. Remember, the next booking payment will take place at 8 a.m. Sleep. You're going to sleep. You will wake up at 8 a.m. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. There's my ship. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The ship has been marooned on... Oh, okay, I get it. I get it now. What's this? A workshop. Costs 400 quid. God, this game's going to be amazing. Where's my damn car? Who put my car back? How bloody dare you. So this ship, then, that's just landed on the shore is our whole... Sh it's our ship. We get to destroy it and smash it up and pull all the bits off it. Nobody else is allowed to touch our ship. So we can get on there on a sh Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that. We're in. We're on. Got some oil. There's a pallet there. Pallet's probably not worth very much. Bit of copper. There's a crate. Is that a crate that you can open? No, it's a crate that you can smash to bits. Water tanks. Uh, rusted steel thingy thingy thing. 
Oh, unlock. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Got some silver. Very nice. Long box. Unlock. Got there eventually. Cast iron and alcohol. What's this? A bit of stuff. Nice. Nice. You climb up? Oh, you can climb up. And there's another chest. Silver scrap. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. Hang on. Zipline. Why do I remember something about ziplines? Can't remember. Let's go for it. Hammer. Aim for the shiny bit. Nice. It's not a shiny bit, that's the moon. Superlative. Do you know, I'm enjoying this so much, I might even... <laughs> I might even not bother with the other things I have to do. It is that tempting a game. Nope, can't I? Can't hit it. Why can't I hit it? Uh, Axel? That was weird. I couldn't hit that at all. Right, can this be destroyed? Can this be uh, knocked down at all? Do I have to hacksaw it down? Doesn't look like I can do that. Collect enough materials to build a workshop. Well, I think I'm pretty close to that right now. Let's do it. So, I, okay, now I'm wondering whether or not I can take down the entire ship. You know, like doors, walls, steering wheels, all that kind of stuff. Based on the way I'm hitting that, I think it's a no. So I can't take the wall down. I can't take the pipe down. Okay, so there are limitations. Oh, hello, what's this? Electric shop. How do I do that? I'm guessing I need a different tool for that. Oh, look, there's something there. Something there. So I need a screwdriver. Oh, that's what I need. I need a screwdriver. Okay. I think that's what I need. A screwdriver. Right, let's whack a couple more of these, get some oil in. How long have I been on this now? 24 minutes already. I'll tell you what, the last 15 minutes have flown by. It's amazing how quickly time disappears in games, when, especially when they're good. When they're bad, 10 minutes feels like 10 hours. When they're good, 10 hours feels like 10 minutes. Funny noise for a plastic water bottle to make. So these I don't think I can uh, do anything with. So there's a limitation then to how much of the ship we can actually get access to. No more space in inventory. Okay. Let's chuck this in the back of the truck. Let's 
There's got to be enough there, isn't there? There's got to be enough there to build a workshop. Let's go do it. E, 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 E. Not working. Try now. Okay, it's very, very sensitive. You have to be in exactly the right spot. So I have to pay 800 bucks a day for that. So I need to make at least 800 a day off of the ship. So this, I guess, is where uh, having employees to work for you is going to make it possible to make more money. Sell 611. There we go. That's what we needed. Workshop. Enter. Buy. Not enough money or materials. Oh, I didn't see that. So I need $400 plus 10 rusted steel and 6 copper. All right, let's go back to my boat. Let's go to, back to my boat. I can get these bits. And we'll, we'll wrap this episode up as soon as I've built that workshop. I'm curious what having a workshop does for you. I'm going to predict it allows me to uh, put stuff in. Like equipment and tools and stuff. Sort of like a, a storage location. Who knows? Maybe I can build new equipment and sell it. Something like that. Who knows? I don't know. No idea what to expect from this. Right, tool. I actually like the fact that it's got like these shiny little bits on it. Allowing you to break it up and hit it and smash it up uh, a little bit quicker. I think that's quite clever. I think that's smart. I like it. Ingenious, maybe. Maybe ingenious. So I've forgotten already what exactly what I need to take with me, but copper was definitely one of them. So, is this copper? That's rusted steel. That was the other thing I needed, was rusted steel. Cast iron. Where am I going to get copper from? Bit of cast iron, bit of rusted steel. Very nice. I can't hit that other shiny bit because I keep going up the steps. Where am I going to get copper from? Is there any copper in here? See, now look, there's a bit of green going on there. Can I hit this thing? Apparently not. Kraken, look at that. Amazing stuff. Keep smashing away. Keep whackity smacking, whackity smacking. I've got some copper. I did get some copper. Oh no, there's copper in this box here that I'm hitting now. Copper. That's what copper looks like then. Copper is the sort of s cylindrical tube thing. There's no copper in that. There's copper in this. Two lots of copper. We've probably got enough. Let's take this one last bit. I can, if I can, if I can hit it. it. Seems it's pretty easy to miss, actually. Is there any copper in that? No copper. Oh, I did. I got a bit of rusted steel out of that. Nice. Is there any copper in this? Steel and cast iron. I think I just need a bit more. Copper. This will have copper in. Nice. There we go. Let's hope that's enough copper. No space left in inventory anyway. Alright. 
Fingers crossed. It's about half an hour I spent on this game. I was planning on 20 minutes. Yep, it's just hit half an hour, so that's okay. That's how good it is. It's easy to get involved in this game. Oh dear. Are right, we good? Right. No, I don't have enough copper. How much copper do I need and how much do I have? Ah, damn. Let's sell everything that's not copper. What's that? Iron. Don't need that. Rusted steel. I need that. Copper. I need that. I don't need the oil. Don't need the cast iron. Okay. Good profit on that stuff, but I need some bloody copper. Like another, just another single piece of copper probably would do it. Let's go find some. Let's go smash something up with copper in it. Oh well, what's this? What's this? What's this? Is that copper? That is copper. Right there, look. Any more copper? A bit of oil. A bit of oil. A bit of oil. I'm not sure that's going to be enough copper. There's copper in this. Okay. Ah, I bet you that thing that was hanging down. I could have uh, used the hacksaw on. Copper. That sounds different. I'm not sure that's being smashed, that one. No. Okay, this one, that's got copper in. Okay. Copper, copper, copper. Oh, hacksaw. Finally found something I can use the hacksaw with. Oh, hang on, what? If I cut it in sections. Wait, what? I kind of like the way that works, but I don't quite understand how that works. So how do I get this bit off? So I can't get the whole thing off then. There's always going to be a little bit left in there, is that right? Unless I use a grinder. Oh, there we go. So you can get, you can get it all off. You just got to get the the exact right position. Okay, it's nearly night time already. That's been a long day's work. Maybe I could upload these one day at a time. This could be day one. Thing is, I like to keep all my videos together. That's the only problem, so that's not going to work. Bye. Combine materials and melt them down to create new alloys. Every alloy requires different melting conditions. You need to carefully set up the furnace and be careful one mistake can ruin your materials. Warehouse. Use a warehouse near the furnace to store materials. Expand the workshop to acquire access to new furnace melting options. Temperature, air and water access are very important in the melting process. By upgrading you also increase storage space. That is amazing. I was kind of like half joking that you would be able to do something like that rusted steel copper equals unalloyed steel so rusted steel copper so it's got to be a thousand degrees celsius Okay, how do I... So we put it on a thousand degrees. Click on that. Mm -hmm. 
obviously got no idea how it start melting. Tutorial finished. There is a lot to unlock throughout the game. Level up and gain access to new ships and recipes. Deliver required materials to complete orders and get rewards. You will never be able to complete them all. New orders will show up every day. So this is a game that has no end thing to it. You can just keep playing it forever, pretty much. But here we have some brand new, fresh, unalloyed steel. And there's a new order available, apparently. Hang on, what's, where am I now? Barracks. So we can get a barracks. We need some copper, cast iron, and kerosene. Kerosene's probably going to be hard to find. So how much will you give me for four lots of unalloyed steel? $124. Not bad. Not bad. How long we got? 30, oh, come on. Ruining my own schedule here. Chickens? This is the man with the orders. Choose order. New orders will show every day if you don't take any order. Okay. So he wants eight rusted steel. That would give me plus one level and $144. Or six oil. For exactly the same level up, uh, but only $132. Okay. Okay. Cool. This game has exceeded all expectations so far. I was kind of hoping you'd be able to climb up on the ships and take, like, literally take every single part of the ship off. I don't know if that is going to be possible or whether that isn't going to be possible. In time, you know, when you unlock new equipment, new skills, new abilities, maybe you can. I don't know. Um, I'm very much looking forward to coming and playing this game. But right now, I have no time to play this game. So I'm sorry. It has to go to the back of the pack because there are other people other companies that I have promised to do stuff for and you know if it was an exclusive then you know then I would give it priority because that means a lot that's a huge huge thing but when everybody else has already got the game the full game anyway you know I've got loads of games where everybody else has got the full game anyway that's the problem anyway it's a great game highly recommend it I don't even know what you can and can't do, but what I've seen so far has impressed me immensely. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye for now.